Five years ago, we witnessed the return of Godzilla, Anguirus, and Rodan, three monsters that attacked in the 1950s. They destroyed most of the cities in Japan. We sent all of the weapons we had to fight against the creatures, but none of them hurt any of them. The three monsters eventually meet in Tokyo and battle, with Godzilla being the victor. The current whereabouts of Rodan and Anguirus are unknown. However, with the help of Lieutenant Brian Martin, we trapped Godzilla in a nearby underwater volcano. However, Godzilla destroyed the G Energy Generator located in Tokyo. We were planning on creating G Energy Generators all over the world, but due to the fact that G Energy was what attracted the three monsters to Japan, the G Energy project has been discontinued. All nuclear power plants have been decommissioned as well, as we predict that those will also attract monsters to Japan, as most of them were created from nuclear energy. So we have developed water, wind, and solar energies to fill the void left by the destroyed generators and decommissioned power plants. We have also created a new organization, G-Force. G-Force has been developing new weapons which will theoretically be able to hurt the monsters. So whenever Godzilla or another monster appears, G-Force will do everything in their power to destroy it. However, there is some bad news. We have recently found out that a large meteorite is heading towards Earth. If the meteor hits Earth, the result would be the extinction of almost every living thing on this planet, mankind included. Sir, what is the government's plan to stop the meteor? Our plan is to launch a nuclear missile at the meteor. If that doesn't work, then we have only one month until the meteor will hit, and destroy almost every living thing on this planet. Sir, the nuclear missile is operational. Good. Launch it at the meteor as soon as possible. Yes, sir.
Sir, Godzilla has emerged from Mount Fuji. What? How is this possible? A meteor shower hit Mount Fuji. The impact must have created a large enough hole in the volcano for Godzilla to exit from it. Where's Godzilla right now? He is currently heading for Tokyo. Sir, what should we do? None of our weapons are working. Not even the Maser Cannons! Not all of our weapons. We'll use weaponized bacteria that will weaken all of Godzilla's cells. Once he is exposed, his armored skin will become weak enough to be destroyed by conventional weaponry. Isn't that supposed to be experimental? Yes, it is. But every test has worked so far. We have infused the bacteria into two bullets. The bullets are specially designed to penetrate Godzilla's skin. The only problem is that we need to be close, too close even, in order to get a clear shot. Nobody has ever been that close to the beast. Well, nobody who is currently alive, that is. If we can strike Godzilla, maybe something radioactive, by firing at its face, it's possible that we can get close enough. It may cause us some lives, but many more will be lost if we don't do this. If I recall correctly, the only radioactive thing we or any other country possesses is the nuclear missile our government is creating. But they need that to destroy the meteor, if they haven't already. The government has been keeping G-cells they acquired from Godzilla's flesh that was scraped off during his battle with Anguirus and Rodan in their possession at a secret facility in case of an emergency. We can contact the Prime Minister and ask for access to the G-cells so we can use them to distract Godzilla for a long enough time to fire the bacteria at him. What's that, sir? Another monster? From space? That can't... that can't be possible! Alright. Yes, I understand, sir. What's this about another monster? They fired the nuclear missile at the meteor, but it turns out that there was a monster inside the meteor. A golden three-headed dragon. It's now headed towards Earth. My god. Are we going to change the plan? Since we only have two bullets infused with the bacteria, the only way we will be able to destroy both of them is if we don't miss either of them. If we do, then we won't have any way to destroy the remaining monster. So we can't afford to miss, alright? Yes, sir! Alright, let's get going. I have a feeling it won't be long before Godzilla and this other monster clash. Sir, Godzilla is heading towards the place we have stored the G-cells. The plan is working. Good. Hopefully when he arrives, the G-cells will distract him long enough so we can fire the bacteria at him. Sir, something new had just come up. It's currently following the other monster that came from outer space. Can you zoom in on the new creature? Why so curious, Lieutenant? I have a hunch I know what it is. It looks like a giant moth. Mothra. What's Mothra? Sir, remember five years ago, only a couple months after we trapped Godzilla in the underwater volcano? When you sent us to check out that island, nearby the island we found Rodan and Anguirus on? Is there something you're hiding from me, Lieutenant? I didn't see a monster, but I saw some cave paintings while exploring one of the caves. It showed a giant moth called Mothra, and the three-headed dragon like the Prime Minister described called King Ghidorah. 
Mothra was described in the text next to the drawing as a goddess, the defender of Earth. King Ghidorah was an evil extraterrestrial creature that destroyed many of the planets and the solar system. 65 million years ago, King Ghidorah arrived here on Earth. According to the cave paintings, Ghidorah was actually the one responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. However, Ghidorah's reign of terror was stopped by Mothra. She trapped him into a meteor and threw it into space. I'm assuming Mothra has returned to rid of King Ghidorah? Presumably, yes. Where is King Ghidorah? He is heading towards Godzilla. Looks like King Ghidorah's won. Sir, King Ghidorah is currently heading towards Kyoto.
What's going on? It looks like Mothra is transferring her remaining life force to Godzilla. Now that Godzilla has all of Mothra's life force, Godzilla is probably at least two times more powerful than he was before. If we let Godzilla and King Ghidorah meet again, then we can fire both of them while they are in the same area. Then we will destroy them with the firepower that we got. Wait, sir! I don't think we should kill Godzilla! What do you mean? Godzilla has destroyed our homes, and killed many innocent people. What makes you think that he should stay alive? Mothra is a goddess. If Godzilla was pure evil, then she wouldn't have given all of her life force to Godzilla. She knows that Godzilla will destroy King Ghidorah. Maybe Godzilla isn't so bad after all. Besides, what if another monster shows up only a year, or maybe even a month later? If we kill Godzilla, what will stop it? Huh? Don't you remember five years ago? We only won because of Godzilla! You really think these monsters are good? Do you really think that they would do anything to help us or anything else? They're monsters. They only seek to destroy our kind. They only care about themselves. We must read of them all. I expected better of you, Brian. You saved our country five years ago. But now all of a sudden you think Godzilla is some sort of savior? Get out of my sight. You're no longer a part of this mission. Your disgraceless organization, and your family name. I was originally going to have Brian fire the bacteria, but now that he's off of this mission, I'm going to have you do it. I want you to fire one bullet at Godzilla and the other at King Ghidorah. We only have two bullets, so you cannot miss. Do you understand, Lieutenant? Yes, sir.
how is Godzilla still alive? I ordered you to fire at both monsters. I'm sorry, sir. I missed the shot at Godzilla. Alright, I had another project in mind for Godzilla in case we survived anyway. Report back to the G4 space immediately. Yes, sir. Nature has a way, sometimes, of reminding man of just how small he is. She occasionally throws up the terrible offsprings of our pride and carelessness, to remind us of how puny we really are in the face of a tornado, an earthquake, or a Godzilla. The reckless ambitions of man are often dwarfed by their dangerous consequences. For now, Godzilla, that strangely innocent and tragic monster, has disappeared beneath the waves. Whether he returns or not, or is never again seen by human eyes, the things that he has taught us remain.
think you should see this. What is it? There are two new weapons that we have built to fight Godzilla. Sir, are you sure it's the right thing to do? Godzilla may have saved us from a threat, but he is still a threat himself. The time has come, finally, to put our technology to the final test.